Um, I'm guessing he's going to go Quas Wex. That's going to be their main defense against um, this push in general. Let's go over the lineup, shall we? This is a crazy looking courier. They don't make pink anymore. I'd, oh, wait, maybe they do. Maybe since that one change, actually. But you don't see pink very often. Anywho, we're seeing the boar and the hawk go straight up mid. Cut a little creatures. Misery's going to be playing. As the beast mess is, of course, is a stand in for Simba. As far as we talked about on the invoker, Puppy going to be playing Marana. Kuroki Doki on that lichen. Really? And no tail is going to really? be playing. Look at this freaking mount. Holy crap. What an insane mount. Kuroki Doki. Yeah, right. Kuroki Doki. What's wrong with that? Okay. I actually kind of like it. Yeah. It's lame, but I like it. That Those two things very often combine. Let's Good. see. For a Nobby. We've got Quost playing as the Troll Warlord together with Goblack on the Venom. Dendi will be playing seconds, as the Solomid ready. Brewmaster, no surprise there. We've got Funic on Jakiro. And Standin of the Day, Solo, will be playing as Sven. And it looks like it is indeed going to be a core Jakiro from Funic, who already has 77 experience from that boar kill. That gave a lot. No, wait, that wow. wasn't the boar. He got the hawk. The boar was killed down here by Goblack and Quost. They got 58 <laughs> XP in total. And if they get the bounty runes, that's, <laughs> that's the a major level advantage. Does the actually 77 experience to That's pretty that's, insane. That's really Wait, how much experience did the boar give? Or the, yeah, the uh, boar? 58, I think. Yeah, okay. looks like 58. Begins. Still pretty good. Oh, we might have a fight here. Yeah, this rune is definitely dire. They're getting both runes in the start. Riss is, look at Funny. He's yeah. almost level 2 before that's the laning stage insane. starts. That is insane. So Misery already starting off at a disadvantage, as we're going to have a, an arrow miss. I believe a kinetic field was also used. And it's going to be a tri lane with Sven, Troll, and Venomancer. That is going to be pretty rough against the Disruptor No Tail. Um, Troll what is you... really good in lane against Lycan. Mm. What Everything do you think of Disruptor in a tri lane? Based. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, one of the weaknesses of Disruptor early on is he's more about control than damage. So if you're running a tri lane, I'd like to say that. If you run a trial lane with Disruptor, the other support should generally be able to put out some damage. Don't get me wrong, Thunderstrike is decent, but you don't have any reliable lockdown, and Glimpse is situational, right? So, if you can get in a position where you can get a good Thunderstrike off, and someone else can hold them in place and deal the extra bit of damage you need, then it's great. And Marana can do it with an arrow, but they don't have a setup for it. Kinetic Field is not reliable for it. Glimpse is a very high skill play that doesn't... I mean, these players are extremely good, so don't get me wrong on that, but even they will mess up that combo sometimes. And then you look at the other side where it's really easy initiation. You drop a Sven stun, guaranteed targeting stun, you follow up with Gale, and then you have Troll running in with, with Whirling Axes that Kuroki can't really do anything about. Both his hero and the wolves will be blinded, and that blind is very powerful in lane, so. They even block the camp. Puppy might be counterwarding this with a sentry now. He will. This is very important for Secret Sentry. Mid lane. Cold Snap was used. Dendi not quite going to be taken out. Of course, S4 doesn't have anything like Sunstrike to work with because it is going to be a Quas Wex, which I think is definitely the right choice for this specific game. Um, how much kill potential are we going to... I mean, how many... Is, am I going to miss First Blood? This is basically what I'm trying to ask here. The nurse yes. In the dry lane. Okay, good. Just just making sure everybody's prepared for that. Funic right now. About to hit level 4. Misery 3.5 right now. That's... Oh, no chance. This is big. pretty greedy going for okay, this ring. If he gets scaled stunned. now, he will. This He's going to go for that regen. Blood. Not that it's going to make any difference. The arrow's going to connect on Solo. It's going to prevent him from catching up, at least right off the bat. No Tail's still going to run away. He has well, actually, to work never with. mind. He's good to go, bro. Oh, never mind. He started with boots on the Disruptor. Okay, I, I hadn't seen that because I was like, he's moving surprisingly fast with Gale on him. But yeah, with a boots opener, you can go for a play like that. I think without boots, he dies there. Uh, but nice play from him, sniping that regen rune at no cost. Still, though, the laning stage looking extremely good for Navi compared to Secret. This bottom lane, Secret can't really do anything apart from pull to get some pres uh, presence on the lane. Kuro has 3 CS against the 10 of Troll. Jakiro is stomping Beastmaster's expected level advantage and a favorable matchup. And that means only the mid lane of S4 has an advantage against Dendi, who S4 is playing extremely aggressive against because of that armor nerf. Can really put out some pressure. Shouldn't be underestimated. No stout shield on Dendi either. Well, if plus one armor means you're unkillable, what does minus two mean exactly? You you're gonna die all game. You spawn. Okay, yeah, just auto death, <laughs> insta give, <laughs> insta give with one auto attack. Well, we still haven't seen a kill here at the bottom lane. Um, but yeah, Seeker's gonna have trouble in this lane, like you said. What do they do exactly? Does Puppy start to roam at this Radiance point? Try to help out the other lanes, although Mid's doing fine. 
Uh, or do they just stick with it as misery? Look how much damage he's taking in this top lane. He's just completely forced out by Funic. With level 3 liquid fire. Radiant's Even with the nerf, still under attack. something to be reckoned with. It's so powerful. You can't really... There's very few melee heroes in the game that can stand well against Jakiro, and let alone in a fair matchup, right? But Funic starting at level... Effectively level 2, 3 experience off it from the beginning just... I think Misery's doing okay, and you're saying that in a one-on-one -on -one matchup with 6 CS 4 minutes in, he could be doing a little bit better, but this is not... He's not really underperforming, it's just Radiant's almost impossible to do this. Is so, the question is if, if Secret are okay with this, they're... Effectively want to say flat out losing two lanes, and then the third one they're narrowly winning. Mm. I wonder if they know how it's going though, because then they might be trying to adapt differently than they are. Well, arrow? they're an arrow. It's gonna connect on that range creep. Get wrecked, son! Seeing the whirling axes come to effect for Colossus, it's gonna hit on two. It's gonna try to slow No-Tail with the, get the Gale on top of it. Do they actually want to dive this? I'd be really surprised if they go any deeper than this. A nice kinetic solo. field. The kinetic field so far, even though there have only been two, they've been... I think they've prevented possibly two kills. So good job yeah, by No-Tail. that was no a really so important far. one for No-Tail. If he gets stunned by Sven, that's easily first blood. So, nicely done. Still, this, this game, I think... Even if Na'Vi don't score any kills on this lane, they're getting enough out of this so far. Dendi in mid, sure he's losing it a little bit, but... Ultimately, we'll still be getting, I guess, a decently timed blink dagger. Maybe not your 10 minute blink, but maybe a 13 or 14 one, which... I honestly think for Na'Vi is good enough, because where's the pressure gonna come from from the secret lineup? We've talked about how good Na'Vi are at pushing. What does secret lineup... Uh, what, does, what does their lineup really do if Lycan is, is struggling? I don't see them putting that much pressure on the map. Well, they have the counter push of Invoker, but that's really about it. I mean, Glimpse, I guess, is pretty good, as Navi might be getting oh, extremely aggressive here. Kuroki taking some damage, Puppy as well. They know that he's underneath the trees here. He might be going for an arrow. Gets glimpsed into a kinetic field. He might be stuck here for a little bit. Kuroki doing a lot of damage. Here comes the stun on No-Tail. Looks like first blood's gonna happen one way or another. Who goes down first is the real question. Kofos might be the first to go down. It's simultaneous. I have no idea who got it. <laughs> Looks like Solo got it from Sven. That oh, is... Wow. That's like the closest first blood I've ever seen. That was literally simultaneous. I, I think so too. I can't remember. <laughs> That was insane. The the, the swings were mid-air at the same time. Solo gets clicked by the NATO here. S4, that's a kill. Question is if Solo wants to die to Roshan. Roshan, to please! <laughs> oh, oh no! In poker, it's again. from Warcry actually got S4 the kill. Well, I think S4 would have killed him with one more right-click if he hadn't done that anyway. Oh, well, then he would have died to Roche, right? Well, he did, he. How many hits did he take from Roche? One. Yeah, because Invoker hit him once as he entered the pit after casting. So I'm saying yeah, that I think Invoker he hit was also with Warcry on though. So if he hadn't yeah. used it at all, he might have died from the swing from Rush. Well, regardless, funny, funny moment, no matter what. But funny I want to say that 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 tower dive, right? If you didn't know who was playing troll, if you told me you removed player names and you said who is this player, I'd be like, I this wonder. is who was playing troll. Of course, it's just such an extremely aggressive play. Even if he doesn't want to be there, he'll get glimpsed, and then he's like, "Okay, this is actually what I wanted to." Oh, with. okay. Well, that's fine. And I mean, I well, think he's been playing a little bit more disciplined lately, but he's still Chavos at the end of the day, right? Which I think is a positive yeah. and a negative in a lot of ways. Exactly. He, his his play style is great sometimes, and and not so great other times. In Bottom this situation, I think it was okay. Oh, we're not going to get the ice path, but Misery's going to take a stun to the face. He has Roar if he really wants to use it. The arrow will connect on Funic. It looks like it might be a one for one, or maybe Puppy will be... No, here comes Invoker with the Tornado. That should be a death onto Funic, so it's a one for one. Lots of TG's Hero expended for from, from Secret, though. That's they poured true, in two true. heroes. The Disruptor, who was basically getting solo experience bottom, conceded his lane to port up and look. So a little bit of a misplay from Big Dad... <laughs> Big Daddy? Did <laughs> I just say Dig Daddy? <laughs> Nice. Dig, dig daddy mo botel. Digging digging daddy. Um, so he wasted a little bit of time. He's currently crossing into mid though, so at least put some pressure on Dendi here by just being there. Uh, but to finish off on that kill bottom lane, I think Navi can be happy they got the first blood under those circumstances. Like, they got the kill because Lycan missed an attack, essentially, I think, on, on close. He stayed alive for a long time, so trade off. Oh, oh, Kuro, she's an opening. Yeah, that kill does literally nothing, but here comes Kobos. They get some missed chance onto Kuroki, and he's just gonna be falling just back. just missing over and over. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really good set, by the way. That is the Danny Dem. That's Puppy's set, actually. And Kuroki's playing as a carry, so quite nice. I believe this is Puppy's set. 
Oh, I didn't even know that Radiance one of the wolves is called Puppy, is and the other one is called Borealis. <laughs> so you can name them separately? Oh, the, the item in the set is called Borealis and Puppy Guardians of Amber. Oh, oh, I see. Bottom lane, no tail. Well, that's that's a lot of bursts. Not even a glimpse will save you in that scenario, because there were two he heroes dead. on him. Yeah, he done dead. S4 level 8 right now versus Dendi, who's about to hit level 8 himself. And some of that has to do with the rotations of S4. We have yet to see Dendi move from this mid lane. I'm sure he'll start doing that once Radiant's that Link Dagger comes online. Control ult is available if they want to push this a little bit further. No Tail is the only TP, but they don't know that. Here comes the second one. He could glimpse back into a kinetic field. Who is it TPing here? It is Misery with that roar. We eventually use it, I'm sure. There we go. And Chavos will find his way to the grave. I Are think. you sure? I'm pretty. I, I think. God. Well, he has axes in two seconds. Oh, the wolves are going to get him. He won't. <laughs> I told you! I told you! They just wanted him to spend 100 gold on a TP. No big deal. Nice bait by thought. secret to get that TP scroll used. Yep. This is new meta. You gotta make him use the TPs. Well, Kuroki's kind of transitioned to the jungle a bit here, so that'll boost his farm since he's not getting anything consistent in the bottom lane anyway. And so, if you look at their lineup, it's really only Sven that can hold him when he's ulted, right? Slows will do literally nothing. I mean, Ice Path a bit, but that is only level 2. They can just level tornado two, him until he has BKB. Beastmaster, or Brewmaster is extremely good against him. Uh, do you as think BKB is going to be after the Glads? I think so, yeah. If they want to fight at least, because he won't be able to fight into Dendi if Dendi gets his ult off. They can try to counterplay it and just see if they can tornado EMP or if they can static storm him or whatever so he doesn't get it off at all. But if he does, Brew is one of the best like encounters in the game until the BKB comes up. Just keep him out of the fight, basically. Um, another hero I feel like we haven't talked too much about so far is Funic. He, he's been quiet in the top lane. You were saying that we didn't see too much movement out of Dendi. Neither have we seen out of Jakira, who has almost taken the tier 1 up top. Misery has been moving a little bit more than him and giving his team a nice comeback. Oh, he's currently boys. looking for a kill up top oh, lane. against the roar. Puppy with the arrow to follow. That should be the death of Funic. TP from S4 probably wasn't needed, but they'll take it any day of the week. I think that was a good TP this time. Because if he doesn't port and Navi port in, Radiant's then Funic can turn that around. He didn't get a chance to cast a spell now because S4 showed up. So. I think yeah. that was okay. They might this have got it anyway, no but better safe than sorry in that situation. Also. Well, like I said, Dendi's yet, yet to leave this lane in the mid. That's well, a good Kavos storm. Again, getting caught off guard. Kinetic fielded. Static storm, everything on top of him. And this is going to be yet another easy kill going the way of Secret, so just a little bit too aggressive <laughs> from Chavos, which is basically his middle name. It's uh, Dyer's top tower is under his middle name is aggressive Radiant's or too aggressive? <laughs> too aggressive. Yeah. Oh, and I can run off, but there's the dust. The dust is too much to handle. Solo taking another kill to his name. No tell gets out, though. So, yes, Navi are getting, uh, or sorry, uh, Secret are getting a couple kills here from the aggression of Navi, but I want to say their aggression is still paying off. They got the bottom tier 1, which is a really crucial tower, especially when they get this early. The top tier 1 has almost been claimed as well, and their lineup really comes together around the mid game. So if this, if this early game allows them to take map control already, then in the mid game they're going to start getting a lot. The Jewels is up on Jakiro in 200, which is what he's safe laning for. When he gets that, I think we're going to see him moving. And Brewmaster Blink is available, so this is when Navi's lineup pretty much peaks in the game, I would say. And very classic Navi draft as well, too. Just put together a lineup in that way. Mm. Kuroki going towards the Ancients. Oh, this is the I new Ancient Granicle. I haven't to see this guy yet. Look at that HP. Let's look at the small guy's HP, actually. 919. And no longer than hearing a tornado. EMP combination. Dendi will not be able to get off his ultimate cold snap as well. But Solo's here to save the day. Gets a nice stun. Glimpse static storm, but they have no more lockdown as the arrow misses. Kavos is here to say hello. And we'll just clean up the creep wave thereafter. That was a fairly expensive attempt from Secret. Static storm. Invoker using. Ah, he didn't use too much, I guess. Murano was also there. A little bit too late for the arrow. They didn't get anything out of it, though. But. In a way they did, they put Dendi under pressure, so he needs to play a little more cautiously now. Can't doesn't have them on if a blink clap split now, only blink split. So if they are aware of that, maybe they can try to siege the top tier one tower with that reasoning. But it's still I wanna say it's still scary for, for Secret to cross the river like this and if they get caught off guard, they're just flat out gonna be destroyed in the fight. 
What kind of a brew is Dendi? Is he the battle brew or is he attack. the general Aghanims? Jump in Ax. Ax isn't the general build anymore though. Nobody really does that anymore? Not so much. It's Dyer's more Blink, Vlad's, Kiros, so that you have as many Radiant's auras as possible after you split. Uh, he used to get Ags, I think, uh, a couple of times, but I want to say he plays the very standard control battle group. Nice EMP, EMP from S4. Again. Dandy just can't do anything. Cannot. He hasn't popped his ult one time. And speaking of ult, Solo's gonna pop his Marana. Moonlight Shadow. Fortification on mid. Do they actually want to defend this arrow? Oh, will nice connect arrow. on Solo. See if this is going to be enough. A nice ice pass going to hold S4 in place. Solo trying to run away. There's the jump in from Dendi. He doesn't have enough for his primal split whatsoever. Tower is destroyed. Seeing Dendi get ulted. And Static Storm double ulti on top of him. He's not going to be able to get away, I don't believe. And down he goes. But it's a one for one. As Puffy did fall on that, on that Marana. Misery. Is he actually going to get killed with Liquid Fire? Indeed he is. Goblack pops his ultimate in the meantime. S4. Oh, oh beautiful nice force staff. Not going to be stunned. He decided really that actualized that. Well, he got, yeah. Yeah, he got stunned technically, but... He clipped on the way out. And meanwhile, Kuro wasn't even there. I want to well, call this a clear like victory him. for Secret. So sure, they lost their mid-tier one, but just... Did, Kuro did take the tower. Did they already get that earlier? I think they might have got that earlier. So, not a victory, but... In my opinion, playing it right. They should not be including Lycan in fights right now. It's more of a... A split push game for them at this point in time. Preventing Navi from grouping up and getting this kind of fight. And... They held it fairly well with mainly because of S4. Dandy's gonna they jump lose Roche, into the though. pit. That's a big loss. for Roche. Medallion of Courage on Goblack. There we go. By the way, there's probably gonna I keep forgetting for some reason that our mods from our chest are on, so Venno Ult is not in the game, guys. Just so you know. Puppy's gonna continue to harass his tier two top. Nice advertisement, self sell out. Yeah, that's definitely not the right word. It's gonna be a free Roche. Is that a new turn? Oh, wait, Tornado oh, EMP. Kobos is the only one that takes the EMP. Dandy picks up the Aegis, taking a little bit of harassment from the wolves, but. Oh, he didn't take it. Who else wait, got it, right? Oh, wait, you're right. Okay, yeah. He finishes Speaking his of him, as he's well. currently killing the Ancients. Or oh, Arrow's gonna connect on Solo, who's trying to take out a ward. Oh, God, talk about counter warding, what's gone wrong. Oh, he might actually go for it. Nope, Ice Path is here. He's actually gonna run away. Surprisingly enough. As they deny their own ward. Nice the ward. <laughs> hey, that's 50 gold, man. Come on. It's good stuff. Oh, I love this. I don't know if this is just a casual point booster, but if No Tail actually finishes an Ags on Disruptor, it's one of my one of my favorite Ags in the game. I'm not gonna say it's top 10 Ags, but it if used correctly, it really is a top 10 Ags, honestly. Yeah, it's it's one of those more situational Ags that you can't just flat out say is incredible, but in some games, it just fl it's like it has huge potential. In some games, the potential isn't that relevant. In other games, you win the game off that item alone. So, I and against think... the brew, it's amazing if you can get that off somehow before his BKB. Yes, because it prevents you from popping any items, of course. So, same against Troll, who I think will definitely also get a BKB in this game. Uh, disallows yeah. Funic from using Yules. That's nice too. Oh, well, let's, I think this is a bait. Let's see if he gets there. We'll see if that's the case. Dendi, you can jump in any time he wants. Kobos, is he in the wrong place at the wrong time again? He has Aegis. He has Aegis and he has backup as well. And Secret's gonna play this a little bit safer. Yeah, they need to be very cautious with this. So what other progress do we have to talk about right now? We have Kuro got the Vlads and 2500 gold. Uh, this, we'll see if he goes for that BKB build and wants to fight, or if he takes the pushing approach with the Necro book. I would say one of those two. I don't think this is a Kiras game. No. But maybe he disagrees with that. Of course it's a great item and he should be getting it later, but I would not suggest it a second in this particular matchup. Um, currently, 3k gold though, so maybe he is saving up for something big or just wants to one-shot that BKB. Chavost has the phase boots, drums. Does he go BKB now? Like, what does he get? After this, as we have a jump in Funic with the Yules onto Puppy along with the Ice Path. You've seen Goblox ult being used as well, and Puppy, well, he's gonna do as much damage as he can before he finds his inevitable death. Very easy kill. And they're. Seiko trying to get a trade off in the bottom. They won't be getting it right now, though, as Solo just stuns out the wave and holds the tower for now, so. Another victory for Navi, who just are doing a really good job in this game. They're not too far ahead in terms of gold experience, but I want to say map control and the flow of the game, they're doing very well. They have the core items they need, 
They're still just hungry for that kind of team fight where they run the enemy over with a good Bruce split and a Jakiro combination, but they don't necessarily need it if they can keep pushing out lanes and controlling, but Kuro is doing whatever he can to ruin that. He is going for the Necro book buildup, so Necro 2 almost completed. And that's when he's going to cause a lot more troubles for Navi. A lot of split pushing to come, that's for sure. But Funic is here to at least defend this tower at this particular time. And it is tied up at 7-7. Let's look at the golden XP graphs right now. Um, apparently somebody's telling us that Troll has the Aegis. Very good. The all this is apparently a, a, a secret observer. <laughs> enemy <laughs> Troll Warlord. <laughs> Alright, XP. Nah, it always says enemy for even. observers. Gold, a little bit of advantage for Navi, but nothing really that would say that the major advantage at all. Thought I'm gonna continue to jungle a bit. <laughs> That's good. I can deal with that. If every hero had a horse, how great would that be? Just imagine yeah, you would basically the get the Legion commander you want. <laughs> I, well, no, I'd have to add a mustache to her, though. To the horse or the hero? They, oh, that's actually... See, oh, that's, a tough, that you say, that's a tough question. <laughs> now that you bring it up, both for sure. <laughs> that's very legit. As for working towards an orchid? Still a ways away, unless there's something on the courier. Nope. And that's another thing that can disrupt the Brewmaster quite a bit. Which means Dendi's gonna have to go BKB soon-ish. With all these counter items coming out from Secret. They have I a lot of counters to Brew in general, don't they? I mean, Mana Burn on a couple... I mean, Necro and the EMP. As we're gonna see Yules on the Midri. Do they have any detection? Oh, a nice yeah, haste. Dust is popped, but it wasn't in range. And He's gonna live go. because of that. And it looked like Navi did have that kill, but slightly a burst missing from it. They're gonna try to take the tower though, as a, not as a consolation prize, as a big prize, but. Oh boy, Tornado EMP is gonna deal decent work. Monic. Okay. Well, beautiful Good ghost center, center actually. Wow, he just saved his life. Unbelievable. Oh, sure. He's gonna jump in. No tail comes in with a glimpse. Monic and company just gonna right click him to death if they're not careful. No tail. He's the first death in this engagement. Troll Warlord still has the eight. No, never mind. Did he use it or did it just expire? I think it expired, right? Yeah, looks yeah, like it, it probably it must have expired. expired. They're gonna, Navi are going to have to back off here. Kuro is putting too much pressure in the top lane with his split push. Top tower they got two thirds of the mid tower. Don't think that's. I don't think they're satisfied with that. They would have liked to get a kill and a tower, but at the very least for them, they came out on top in that, which. Judging from how the initiation went, that could have gone very Dyer's wrong, but awesome usage of Ghost Scepter by Funic, and just overall really good control of the fight from coming out from Navi. Not overextending, not giving away any freebies to Secret, and quite the contrary That's now, the they might smoke. find the kill they really want. Oh, oh, oh they're going the wrong way! They're going the wrong oh, way! No. Oh my. They Juked. thought he went down into the river, but he's just farming their own jungle. They could still get him, theoretically, as Force here, though, now with support, and here comes the Tornado EMP again. Kuroki and company gonna solo down solo. Well, that wasn't really a solo kill, but either way, they take him out. Funic, he has Yules. Ice Path in two seconds, though. And of course, without a Spence stun, there's not a whole lot they can do. Heard the Venom ult being placed. s just gonna force Staff and TP away. That could have been disastrous for Secret, and they end up with one kill. <laughs> that was very fortunate. And they need to be really careful, because this, this Navi lineup is one. Even if you die inside their jungle, I think their pushing potential is good enough to take a tower. Even after they need to push for 20 or 30 seconds first to reach it. Like, troll ultimate, Venom Wards, uh, isn't really that great for speed pushing, but I want to say Liquid Fire is still pretty good together with Troll ult. So decent hard hitting with Sven ult as well. Onto that, so. Scary shot the long As this tower gets killed, oh, there is a sentry. Not sure if they want to go in, no, they just use that as an escape. There is the flavor of the tournament. Yep. It's almost like a... we forgot about it. We didn't have one yesterday. Right? No, I think we did, actually. Was there one SNY? I thought there was, for sure. We had Assange on the Spirit Breaker no, no, that no, it wasn't he decided that. to never upgrade. No, because we mentioned them. Uh, maybe that was it. I don't know, I thought we went SNY on somebody. Could have been yeah, one game. This tournament's funny, we have an item and a hero. Last tournament it was two heroes, so. It evens out, I suppose. Oh, Funic Arrow. Oh, one creep actually that got- damn fell spirit. How dare you. Bottom lane though, Goblin gets caught off guard by the glimpsing No-Tail who glimpses the TPing target. He's just gonna TP out though, they don't want the kill. 
Apparently Dandy jumps nice in. Nova, Misery. Bob's primal He's split. Is this the first primal split of the game? I think so. Am I so. mistaken in this? It's going to be used for a solo kill. On to Misery. It's going to bring him back any second. There's the stun. One more round of right clicks should do it. Down he goes. We're 23 Very and a half nice. minutes in. That's the first primal split of the game. That's really surprising. Yeah, that's pretty insane when you think about it. It's just, it's been a really hard game for Dendi. He's been counterplayed a lot, counterpicked as well. Dyer's but just want to say in that, in the heat of the attack. moment, they're really nice play from Goblack. Getting that double Venomous Gale off, forces a TP away from No Tail, and they get an easy kill with, with the Troll and, or well, Troll came in at the, at the end just getting an assist, but of course, mainly Dendi's Brewmaster got the job done. The ancients When's the next go roll? by. by. One minute and a half. I think Navi will be claiming this one as well. Don't see Secret with too much map presence right now. The warding here is really good for securing that Rashan for the Dire. Secret have some good wards in their own right in the area, but even if they see Navi going in there and knowing they're there, it's not enough. They need to be able to fight with Vision at the same time, so the Hawk is going to play a really big role. Puppy? So he finds Puppy, or is it the other way around? I'm not sure. Who else is here, though? to push the lane even further. Of course, this tier two's been gone for quite a while. Uh, there's two tier twos left for Nabi, for Puppy to, or not Puppy, I keep thinking it's Puppy, it's Kuroki, of course, who has a DD now. And he goes Hyper Souls, he's gonna be going Assault Cures right off the bat. So before BKB, before any of that, just wants to, just wants to fight. Well, actually, that's not even true. If you wanted to fight, you get BKB, so. He wants to split push. Yeah, the Kiras. If for this build, I would say, like I said, I wouldn't suggest Kiras second, but after having the Necro book, I think it's a lot better now. Uh, and he has taken the approach that he's kind of dodging fights entirely. He's barely been fighting, almost only been fighting when the enemy comes to him. Else he's just happy farming around the map. He's doing a good job in terms of CS, sitting at about 200. Goblack, gonna get Orchid. the first Orchid of the game. He's really tanky though, look he at that. He really is. That point booster is so good. Here we have the Tornado. Love stack with Goblack. He might live to see another day. No Tail though, might not be so lucky. In fact, he gets right click to Goblack the grave as well. just keeps surviving on 100 health because of that point booster. <laughs> Talk about a value pickup. It's always a value pickup, bro. It's so good. Talk about it. If he can get an Axe himself, that is pretty sick as well. Solo's gonna use his ult to help take down Roche. This is scary. Down They're not that well. healthy on Solo. Oh, he's getting burned. He's under attack. Tornado's up. Here we go. It's gonna get on three EMP as well. Arrow's gonna connect Solo extremely low. Doesn't take that much damage from the EMP because he had no mana to speak of anyway. He's hey, somehow gonna live. Yes? Shannon, how low was Solo? Yolo Solo was low. It was Solo. Okay. Top lane. Gonna port in. Laugh. Coming in. <laughs> oh <laughs> my Excellent. god, the point booster doesn't forward. help there. Point booster no help for you. Dyer's that was a Dota 2 dad joke, by the way. There is a subreddit for that due to that kind of stuff. <laughs> Funny. Yours. Ice pad no well. He could possibly get this. Port here, I think. He might here make it out. Oh! I thought the tornado would come in time, but the Jakiro damage over time was enough as the Aegis has popped in mid lane pretty much right after that after getting it. So boss, does he want to fight? Gets cold snap. No, I'm sorry, that's, that's arrow. actually. It's a little bit long to be a cold snap. It's pretty good spell, but not that good. And yeah, it's a 4v1. No chance to get out of there, good sir. Oh, Orchid, but nice blink out from Solo. Boss kind of out in the middle of nowhere in that situation. I was looking at top, so I'm not sure how he got caught, but might have just expected that secret will reinforce him, reinforcing top so he could farm a little bit in the mid lane, but ends up being a really costly death, essentially wasting the Aegis. Solo will get out of that kinetic field barely. And there's the initiation, then clap. Static so much money, only getting hit on one again. He might clip two, make it at three. Nobody has mana on Navi now. They should probably not go any further than this. Than this. Although they're thinking about it. Funnick gets a nice ice path, but a four step on Misery is going to get him out of harm's way. Radiance bottom tower That'll break things up. Attack. 11 to 10. This game is dead even. It's been dead even the whole time. No one has accumulated that favor, a lead. Right? And that's a good question. Like the later I don't goes, feel like who, do you, who do you like? There isn't really an obvious choice, right? The one team has Lycan as their main late gamer. Invoker can do fairly well, but Quas Wex just doesn't farm that fast. I think S4 is doing pretty well with 120 CS. It's one of the weaknesses of the build. It's just, it's not that good for, for farming and for dealing damage, but exceptional for control. So that's the trade-off. You have Lycan getting a lot of farm, but 
in late game, I want to say he's going to struggle against a really fat troll and a Sven who will inevitably at some point be getting some core items as well. Uh, Jakiro, never count that hero out for the entirety of the game, massive control. And then on the other hand, on secret, the Disruptor X, we talked about it earlier, I think it could really be the game deciding item. Oh, close. Yeah, he gets roared, he gets, he gets everything, that's what we're gonna call it, has no mana, pops to the orchid. That orchid did like 400 damage, <laughs> that's a lot, good god. Puppy, pops his ult, he's gonna find Gallblack, if he can get an arrow, this could be a kill. Or, or they can just glimpse, that's that's also an easy spell. I don't think the ult hit anybody from Gallblack. It procced. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. I thought it would work like Shiva's, where it would follow you everywhere you go, but I guess that's not the case. It looked attack. like that was what he was expecting as well. Yeah. Because... Well, even then, they would have been hit. I think he still would have died, and it didn't look like there was so, too much potential to kill off Secret's heroes. So. He's baiting a bit. Kuroki, of course, doesn't have a BKB, so Dendi ulting could be a big deal. He's gonna blink out, though. And... He's gonna have a lot of missed chance here. Gets stunned to the ice path, the TP up by Sven, but Funnick. He's gonna one that drops in this engagement. And Brewmaster. He's gonna have to pop his ult defensively. If he can get out, he is. He gets orchided as well. He's gonna try to pop that ult just to get away. He has no mana right now. Trying to bottle. There we go. But it's used defensively. This is a big win for Seeker if they can continue down this path. Solo. Gets a nice stun on the S4. And Puppy! Well. Oh, he's just a course course this is a deal. really big kill. This is the grand prize, basically, right now. And puppy paws. Even though All right, it's guys, funny. listen. Listen, I'm dead for 37. <laughs> Do you want me to buy back? <laughs> Pour it in. Where's Dendi I'm pretty sure no matter what, this does look like a kill. There's no tower to TP on for secret. They can't reinforce Kuro at all. 20 second cooldown and ult. If he tries to TP... Well, he could actually try to TP. There's no mana on Sven for a stun. Dendi split is going to end in three. And then they have to rely on a bash from Quost. I think that's the best play. He could get lucky and get out here. Possibly. If but RNG is on his I still want to say it's very unlikely. And this is the kill for Navi. That's going to give them probably... Oh, they're going to have to go back and defend. But at, at the very least, whenever Kuro's on the sidelines, they can start controlling the map fairly well. May maybe take back their jungle, which is currently warded. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> All this theory crafting and it's dead, he's just dead. Uh, mid lane Dyer's in the meantime though, they're gonna get the tier 3 tower, S4 and Misery Wait, what? Are. And they're gonna deal a little bit of damage to the range tracks. I didn't that much damage to it already. Four steps, gonna dodge that, that Gale. I'm surprised this Navi as well. Here's a big item for Quost, picking up BKB. Now he might be able to get away with being in the middle of nowhere. Or maybe not. We'll see. That's a big circle on the mini-map. Drawn by yeah. uh, misery. I think that was funny. That right? was brown. I think it was brown. He was what saying was we need to reclaim this area. I'm pretty sure. Because this is a really important part of the map, always, of course, for the dire. But especially now that we're reaching the point in the game where, first of all, the radiant top tier one is still remaining. So if they get control of their jungle and they get a little bit out on the lane, they could claim that tower and maybe even get towards the tier two at some point soon. And they need the farming space, because Kuro is taking this jungle all the time. So it's not just that it's denied from them, but it's taken by the enemy. So it's twice as... Twice as important. And look at see. Dendi's CS in this game. That is not what you want to see on a mid-hero. Of course, like you talked about, he's been countered pretty heavily. But that yeah. also begs the question, why pick Brew in that situation? He was the um, first overall pick. Well, exactly. Why pick so him when you see this many counter? I mean, I'm not saying yeah. it's the... It's just, that's, I mean, that's one of the things about CD that we, we talk about, but it's still, I feel like, not talked about enough, is that you have very little time to organize your thoughts. C Tornado EMP yet again. EMP just clips one hero, S4, four steps out. That's going to be a tower going their way, though. But in the meantime, Secret's in mid lane, pops the Necro 3. Fortification is up, Goblock has his ult to work with. He's going to get Roar, though. Can they take him down before he can use anything? They are going to take him down. That's the Rain Drag down, Fortification used. Dendi jumps in with a thunderclap, pops the primal split. I think they just fall back here. Misery taking a little bit of damage. Puppy cyclone in the air. Misery looks like Beastmaster got a kill on Jakir in the meantime. With a boar, it sounds looks like. Puppy, he's surrounded and dead. So it's a two for one overall. And the melee Rax does live and will regen over time. Solo, cold snap, tornado. That should oh, be enough, nice. even the Beastmaster wow. comes in. 
Okay, so I want to point out how S4-esque that fight was. Because... S4-esque? Yes, this is gonna be a Rax. He wasn't there, right? S4 ruined that entire fight. He stopped the TP of Hvost with a cold snap. It's just, you know, classic play from him stopping TPs. It's starting to become... He's already renowned for that, of course, from the history of TI3, but here in the top lane, he uses the Tornado, as we saw, Tornado EMP, he then Ghost Walks, and the team has already called, guys, we're pushing mid, so his sole goal there is to stop a TP. He runs up to Kvost, cold snaps him, takes him out of it. Kvost found a haste, that was the only reason he made it there in time, I think. Okay, he actually has decent moves even without it, so maybe not. But still, it really secured secret that fight with almost no risk. To their investments. So. You know this puppy Very with nice a blink fight. dagger, by the way. I've seen this a couple oh, times on Marana, yeah. but it's not the most common thing, that's for sure. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. BKB still 10 seconds on Chavos, by the way. Did he die in that fight? No. The so fight was, just never just really broke out. He showed up. Yeah. When he showed up, it was all already kind of over. Secret already got what they came for. Chavos running in. Oh, that's a very dead core. Oh, Gets he gets a bash. Oh, Don't even need a lot of damage. Arrow Enjoy won't find its target. Dendi found Puppy. Does a blink again. He's out. <laughs> that blink coming in handy. <laughs> oh, he didn't even use it there. He actually tell only the, Tell me the idea behind me. Obviously, blink can be picked up literally on any hero, and I won't find it that weird, but... What, is there any specific thought process with the blink on Marana? Uh, it's kind of nice to get in position for the arrow fast. Oh, God, like, so Look at that level. Is that a level yes. 1 Sunstrike? Uh, it's like level 3. Level 3, yeah. But it, I like I like it for just blinking in position for for the arrow. Of course, you get more escape ability as well. You can leap and then you can blink if you don't take damage for three seconds. It's a nice way of getting in and getting a fast star storm. You can blink in and then leap out. You know, it's just an item that has a lot of utility. I won't generally recommend it as a great item on Marana, but sometimes it can be nice. Misery. An arrow connected on Funic, who now pops his Ghost Scepter, so he's gonna live at least for now. Misery though. Taking a lot of damage to this primal split. If they can't get a kill with this primal split, it's gonna be a big win going the way of Secret. Puppy leaps out. He has blink up. I don't know if he takes damage. Okay, he's gonna take damage from a variety of sources. I don't believe the yeah the, the cyclone from that brewmaster panda does not deal damage on the way down like fuels. I don't believe. Right? Pretty damn sure that's the case. Right. Either way, didn't matter in that case. Navi are just getting outmaneuvered in this game. I think they're playing the fights fine, but they never get the fight they're looking for. This whole game has just been secret split pushing very well with Lycan and just finding key pickoffs mainly, mainly virtue of Misery's roars and the uh, and the arrows from Puppy. It's it's really difficult to play against this kind of game because all Navi wants to do is go on a lane and push five, but never really seem to get the opportunity. S4 or staff. He's out. Pretty good top lane though. Solo takes a sun strike, a roar. And then a running misery with haste. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. He has the Ogre Club and Bracer, so not really to the point where you want. I mean, obviously that's a hero you don't really get farm on in the early game if you're playing him in this role, but eventually he has a good way to transition into that carry. But since they're behind, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Arrow scouting out Roche Pit, which is currently empty. Tornado EMP again. God, how annoying is this? And it actually clips him. God, that is annoying. It's so good against these Dire heroes who really need their mana and just get it removed entirely. Dendi loses his mana pool, Kvost loses his mana pool, Sven uh, solo loses it. Only Veno and Jakira can do something, and even Veno can't even <laughs> ult after it. Arrow. They know they hit somebody that's invisible. Let's see if they do anything about it. No detection though. And Roach just have a gem on No Tail. Speaking of No-Tail, did we mention that he did finish the Aghanim Scepter? Don't think so. Because he did, and... Oh, there's another one. It's such a d disgusting ability now. So Static Storm, I believe it lasts longer. Actually, tell me what I'm wrong with. I know it disables... It not only silences like before, but silences items. And I believe it lasts longer or does more damage, or both. One of those. Duration. Duration. Okay. So it lasts, lasts longer and disables items. So when it lasts longer, it also does more damage, right? So you are correct in every aspect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, it's something we don't get to see very often. And Roche is going to be hotly contested this time by Secret. Aegis and Cheese available. Lycan Wolf scouting it out. This, if Navi loses this fight, it's probably going to be GG. So this is it's pretty close to it. 
control and they need to scout for these arrows it's coming in from Puppy. Boom! Get wrecked Ro Oh wait, didn't hit Roche. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, Roche! Take it like a man. Come Roar. on now. Found solo. Roar on solo from the other side of the cliff. They can't really follow it up, at least not yet. Tornado EMP, tornado hits on two. Dendi, he's gonna get static, so literally nothing you can do in this case. I've passed the follow. S4 pops the BKB. Solo's gonna go down. They're just going for Roche. This is an all-in play by Navi, but they only have two left alive. The boat's gonna have to take this pretty quick. He does do so, but how much is this gonna end up mattering? Misery? He's gonna be the sole death of Secret. So both with that Aegis, they had to kill him twice. They, there's one time the cheese is picked yeah, up. I was ready. And S4. If you really need to go pop that cheese. Okay, he didn't pop the cheese, ladies and gentlemen. So Bose is gonna continue the pressure. Big Daddy down as well. One more hit. Rage mode. Triple kill for Kabos. The blink by Puppy <laughs> really wants oh this kill. You better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> He's so disgusting. Puppy has the arrow. It's think. melee. Oh my god, he gets one. Oh, 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 Alright. That one arrow miss from Puppy there just cost the. Oh my god, it can't well, be a bigger than that. That was a one fight total stomp from Secret. Turned around one on five. There was actually like a bigger what? misplay. Uh, S4 picked up the cheese and then didn't use it, and he wasn't stunned. Oh, yeah, that that's true. That would have been enough, enough to get that kill, I think. And that's the so reason. This is huge for a couple of reasons. First of all, Navi could have just flat out lost the game there. I guess we agree on that. They, that would have been an almost unrecoverable loss for them. Secondly, that was the play with Disruptor Eggs. Now Dendi knows it's there, and he's going to play differently. And poor Dendi. <laughs> and third he has to of play all, around just everything. Got, he just got butterfly and blink from that fight. Oh, and blink! Wow. Jesus. I wish I had looked at the. The fight recap. I guess we'll look at the XP grab. Well, oh, it's all over the place. That's a Murloc right there. Secret. Oh, wow. Still has the advantage in the gold department. This game is uh, still wide open now, though. It's getting really exciting because now Navi they have momentum and Kvost is gonna be hitting like a motherfucker right now. There's like nothing on the Radiant that can stop him apart from Roar. When he's in BKB, if he gets it off and blinks in on and opens on the Beastmaster and gets a bash. I almost want to say that's close to a one fight for Navi if he can if he can do that. He can probably kill Beastmaster oh in the best time. These arrows have been so sick. Or get the follow. Here, Here comes the boss with the jump and that blink dagger being shown to BKB. S4 gets destroyed! Right now it's a one for one power metal ended up did going down. Big Daddy no tail. You're not gonna be so lucky. Double BKB is being shown. I believe those are the ten seconds for each respective hero as Marana runs away. Uh, I have to double check on that. I know Dandy's was ten seconds. Havost. Alright, that, that was his second usage, so now it's to 8 seconds. Arrow? It's just like, it's like 100% of these arrows have been hitting. Not that it really matters there, is Sven Holt, his pops, backdoor protection for the win. Eventually this tower will go down though. It's gonna take them quite a while. And with the creep, go. Kuro's Radiant's gonna try to split push top, I don't Arrow think he's again. fast enough. They gotta lose the land of Rex if he doesn't come back, or buy back from his fort. There we go. There we go. Gotta buy out. Now we'll that, probably pull out. No, they're no, staying. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, it is the most, after all. You never know. Roar on solo. They should probably just leave him. And a nice blink out from Jakiro, dodging that tornado completely. And I believe everybody should be able to get out of here for Navi. Oh, well, if they, if they stop lane. some TPs now, they're gonna go lane. Oh, oh my god, Black, you are just getting right click to victory. Kuroki taking the range racks in about two hits and gets fortified, though. And Chavos is the one that's here to defend. Kuroki might want to just TP out. Of course, he could get bashed. Oh, no. He might be in some trouble here. With one bash, this is it. That's gonna be a kill going the way of Kavos again. Look at this attack speed. Jesus, H horse. H for Rage horse. Rex. Jesus, H horse. I... S4 gets the Rex. Oh, almost clipping with the arrow. He has to get the hell out of here. There's clash. the Yules. That's Yules. Very very nice nice path. And right clicks again. Kavos is so scary right now. The blink dagger is being. He's used it three or four times for kills. It's been a really good pickup. It's so nice on Troll. I love that he went for it in this game. Able to close the gap and be the initiator that he kind of needs to be for his team because Dendi has been struggling a lot in this game with playing that role. Very surprising, actually, to see Dendi only having two deaths. I think he's played a really good game, even even though you could say, in terms of the grand scheme of things, he might have been one of the least valuable heroes in the game, but that's just the matchup more than anything. Yeah. I've only seen one BKB usage this the first time he was coming off This is a crazy late game, I swear. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is be so uh, insane. Well, Boots of Travel now picked up by Troll, so he's expecting this to go into the split-pushing ways that Secret want to...
deal with this game. Um, of course, he's gonna have a. Is this gonna be a Manta or a Scotty? Ooh, I would like the Scotty. I would rack it a Scotty. Uncle what do you think? Mm, Scotty or is there any merit to disassembling the Sanjunyash and making a Manta? Is that? I think it's not worth it. So it's either it's either a Scotty or Hex. What happens with Glimpse when you Manta? You still get glimpsed. Unless if you time it so that you Manta right when the Glimpse is supposed to bring you back, then you can dodge it. Gonna get the we, we saw Red that man. in TI4. Dandy with boost of travel of his own. Oh, and look at this troll old man. He can't do anything with this troll. Nato's gonna hit everybody! Static Storm Kinetic Field combination on four heroes! Can they do anything about this? Definitely last of all, they're two dead right off the bat. Four Na'Vi. Echo Vos stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Can't even pop his BKB. He finally does so. He's gonna try to right click down Misery. He does a lot of damage. Look at this go. He is so low HP, but they can't do anything about it. Unbelievable S4. Boxes go through. Okay, Kabos will finally drop to the deck. Mid racks is down. Meantime, top lane. Kuroki pops BKB. He's gonna get melee. That's double racks. Four secret. I guess that's the trade you want. I'm sorry, double racks. That's an entire mega creep, actually. He went all in for this. I don't think Navi are gonna concede though. Does he have buybacks? I think they're gonna yeah, have the buybacks. This is the type of game that you can win against Mega Creeps. I know it's extremely difficult, and it's going to be a very, very uphill battle for Navi, but it's still within the realm of possibility. If they get a push off now, and they have someone to hold base and then BOT in, which looks like only Frost has, so that's a pretty big problem. Man, Damn, this... Mega Creeps look awesome. I think out of all the Mega Creep games I've seen in the last many months, this is one of the ones where I think the team with Mega Creeps against them has the best chance. So, I wouldn't call Navi out of this just yet. Well, you yet, saw Troll, but... how much work he yes. does. They can still do it. With no they... HP. If he can pop that BKB earlier, he'll have a better chance to Still, this has something. been such a well-played game from Secret, I want to say. Like, the way they've... They're just winning on strategy. I, I want to say they're winning on strategy more than execution in this game. That last team fight in the mid lane was obviously fantastic from S4 and No Tail together, but just over the course of the entire game, that's where they've outclassed Navi. It's been their movement and their decision making on the map. Again, is that a Onyx? Veil? Whose Veil is that? I think it's S4? No. Maybe no. I was. No, it's, it's Puppy. Puppy. With the Veil Marana. <laughs> classic. Classic. Modern <laughs> classic. Oh, S4? He has BKB online. He gets Orchid in. He doesn't have an Aegis or anything. He's just gonna die pretty quick. He pops the eight, pops the BKB very late. Big Daddy No Tail drops to the deck. Kuro's bottom. They're gonna have to go. doesn't have TP ready. He's even gonna get arrow. Fucking kills him now. That's game. He's dead. And he gets roared just to secure the kill. And like you talked about, Kuroki in the enemy base, just gonna be pushing to victory while this this fight continues to take place. In the base of the well, radius. It is one of the best chances the team with Megas against them, I would say, had, but it's still extremely difficult. And of course, if you make one mistake, it's over. Most getting caught out there in the static storm pretty much end the game. Alright, so I have to say, MVP. They just play perfectly. That was still crazy. MVP's S4. The nice. tornado EMPs, that just ruined Navi. It ruined them. I mean, even late game, the EMP completely drained every bit of Troll's mana, and not that he needs that much mana, but still. Can't even pop his ult.